got to got to get into things right away. Uh, obviously, a very successful uh, SECs in February, and then uh, even more more good swims in, in March uh, at the NCAA championships. The the women had a really strong finish, and and the men were top fifteen there. So uh, great great start for me, and and uh, kind of just you know, carrying on what was, what was already going on with the program, uh, in the spring. And then, yeah, this summer got to really dive into things. Uh, I've been working with, with the rest of the staff and, and getting them, uh, getting all the pieces in place with the staff. And then, you know, our main focus this summer was Olympic trials. So, um, getting, getting our kids prepared for that, uh, here in the U S and then getting our international kids geared up for that, um, for the Olympics out in Tokyo, um, that, that just happened. So, had a, had a great summer as well. We had uh, some of our best performances at the U.S. Olympic trials. We put uh, Ryan White on the, on the U.S. team. Uh, we were also able to, to put uh, two other current team members uh, on their, their national teams and that, you know, where they represented uh, out in Tokyo. So we had uh, Deanna Petkova and we had uh, Kalia as well. Um, so they both represented their countries. Uh, overall, you know, Ryan had a great Olympics uh, coming coming home with two fourth place finishes. Um, you know, I think you know very excited, very hungry to come back, and and uh, you know she was able to to get a silver medal there as well on on the relay. Um, but overall, great great summer for for our women's team. It was really really strong, um, and we're really reloading with the men's team this fall. So. I think uh, coming off of the summer and, and into the fall here, we're just really excited to get the team back. Uh, we had move-in day for a lot of our freshmen uh, a couple of days ago this past Friday. And, and so now uh, they're here, they're ready. School starting on Wednesday and uh, we'll get our preseason started uh, next week. So that, that's where we are right now. All right, we're gonna start with Katie Windham. Go ahead, Katie. Hey, Margo, and welcome hey. to being full-time coach here at Alabama. Um, there's, a, I feel like a lot of different directions I could go in, but uh, Roots kind of just detailed your uh, past career. And so obviously you had experience as a collegiate athlete, but then also swimming on the international level. How do you as a coach, after all the recent Olympic success this summer, how do you balance training your athletes for the Olympics and other international events, but also training them to be the best collegiate program y'all can be? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. I think when we re, when we're recruiting athletes, um, that's something that that we you know we sh we tell them up front. You know, we we not only want them to succeed here, you know, uh, within the college system and within what we're doing as the you know the University of Alabama and our program, but we want them to go compete for their you know at the, at the highest level for their countries. And so whether that's in within the U.S. or that's you know wherever they're from, you know, we want their goals to be at the highest level. So that's going to compete at world championships at the Olympics and things like that. So for us, it's a lot of, you know, balancing that and, and being able to make sure that they're training and that they're prepared for, you know, their entire, uh, their entire meet schedule for the entire season. So we've got world championships uh, for a lot of kids coming up in December, which is kind of right in the middle of our college season. Um, but just, being able to, to navigate that as coaches and helping them through, uh, making sure they're prepared for that, but then also getting them ready um, for that spring, you know, the, the SECs and the NCAAs in the spring. And I think we do a really good job of that. We have uh, a staff that works together really well to make sure that, you know, we're not missing anything there and, and making sure really that they can compete at all the, all the different meets that fit into, fit into the plan. So it's been, it's been uh, a challenge, but I think it allows them to, to go compete where, where they need to. And, um, it, and like I said, that, that's the goal when they come here for them to, to not only, you know, get it done um, in the college rankings, but, but out on the international stage as well. All right, Joy Blackwell. Hey coach, I'm going to be asking this question a lot today, um, but kind of going off of, you know, the Olympics, you know, how important is that success to the program and how does that help you, you know, get the ball rolling on recruiting, especially just starting uh, in year one? Yeah, Olympic, Olympic success uh, for, for our sport in particular, you know, swimming and, and diving as well. Um, you know, that's, that's the, the top of the top for us. And that's kind of, you know, um, as a young, as, as young uh, swimmers and divers, you know, that's kind of the, the ultimate goal there. So, 
for our sport. I think um, very important to have that success and, and very important for, for the rest of our program to see what's, well, you know, what's possible and, and what everyone here is capable of. Um, you know, we, we do prepare kids to be able to, to swim at the highest level and to dive at the highest level. So I think that's something that within our program, it's awesome to, to promote and to, um, to share that energy, but also with, for the recruits coming in, that's something they want to see. And when they see, you know, an Alabama swimmer in Tokyo, um, you know, that gets them excited, that lights them up. So definitely uh, important for us, something that, you know, it's going to be, you know, always something we're striving for. And I think, you know, hopefully in years to come, we're putting more people on teams. That, that's the goal. And uh, I know that's a challenge in, in, in itself, but, but yeah, that's, that's what we're shooting for. Thank you. Yeah. Um, let's see. I see a hand up, but I can't find who's got their hand up. Oh, there, Katie, go ahead. It's me. Um, I know you've been here since January, like Ruth said, um, but now as you're making the transition into full-time head coach, um, maybe what are some of like the excitement and nerves of taking over the program full-time? Obviously you still have a great staff behind you, but uh, just kind of talk about the transition. Yeah, you kind of mentioned it. So I think first and foremost, the, the, the biggest part I wanted to, to get set and settled was the rest of the staff. Cause I know, I know how important it is to have people around you that have those same, you know, mission, vision goals as you. And so, um, so yeah, I feel like I have that in place. Very excited for who we have here. Um, Coach Ozzy, Coach James, Coach Reed, Coach Bellman, and then uh, you know on the diving side we've got Coach Jesse. So feel good about that. Um, and then I would say probably more than anything, I you know I I really want to uh, strengthen you know our our team culture and kind of our our standard of doing things here. I think the performance has has been really strong across the board for for many years but I think establishing the way that you know I want to lead the program and the way that um yeah like I said it's just how the how the program operates and kind of the culture of that um is probably my biggest focus in these next couple months and just really sharpening how we do things here and and the way that we go about our business I think that's that's probably the the main focus for me 